Hey guys, this is Jimmy Jones and uh, my buddy Ron over here, and we're uh, we're actually doing a food truck right now. Uh, let me show you what it looks like on the outside. So uh, my buddy does uh, vending at sporting events and stuff like that, like Rolling Loud, um, and he he works them and he he sells uh, like cotton candy, popcorn. Um, you know snacks food truck stuff and so while it's been sitting here for COVID it had a little bit of uh, you know weather and so we're gonna revitalize it make it brand new looking again and uh, hook a brother up all right so we're gonna you see the the colors here this is what I'm working with he brought this to me um, it just had gotten an accident so some of it you know was had to get fixed uh, but it's also all rusty and ceiling was caving in so he asked me to fix the ceiling and to paint it so I'm gonna see what I can do you know put my little twist on it and make this like a badass food truck so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I already started ripping out the ceiling um, got my camera set up and uh, trying to do you know, what I can tonight and go ahead and get started tomorrow. Uh, the plan is, you know, I went and uh, went and got a couple of little things that I needed, um, but I'm putting up a board. I actually have some of this board already, and I went and got the little ply that goes in between. And uh, I'm gonna redo the ceiling. He wants to take the AC unit out, and it's an old unit. And he wants to put in a new, uh, you know, something updated. Uh, a fan would be good in here. Uh, it's a food truck, and the windows are gonna be open, so it necessarily it doesn't really need this AC. So we're gonna go ahead and rip that out tonight. We're gonna figure out how to close it up. Uh, worry about that tomorrow, but I want to get everything cleaned up so I can pressure wash it and get all this muck out of here. You know, I uh, went ahead and, and uh, tools you would need for something like this. Uh, of course, a pressure washer. Um, I plan on either spraying it or whatever. But, you know, you need something like uh, disc grinding blades. Uh, I want to I want to grind the the bottom floor and some of the stuff because I was planning. Um, if I can't get it looking right uh, with the diamond plate like that, then I'm going to paint it. Um, just throw some paint on it. But I got some stuff to try to polish up the stainless steel. Uh, the diamond plate is expensive, so I'm going to try to save it. And then I could just plastic everything off that uh, we don't want to get the paint on. Um, I don't know if you really could see it from the video, but... Yeah, it's kind of dark out. This is what it looks like. It's called Nuts About Sugar. Nuts About Sugar. Yeah. Like there you that. go. So, shout out my boy Kevin. Nuts About Sugar. You will see him at the Rolling Loud Festival in Miami. And you will see him at the Dolphin Stadium in Miami. So we're repping the home team hard. All right, so let me go ahead and um, keep on going with this. Now this shit's just tacked up here with some screws. So I got a box of self tappers. Yeah, uh, impact drill. Maybe a grinder. Circular saw. Some shit like that there.
that the uh, behind my seat there's that black Akita bag that has all the tools and stuff. Can you grab that bag? Edition set, got a little circular saw, the, the radio, got the impact, drill driver, got two impacts, and a hammer drill, all you, that. You black. got two drills. Goth yeah. Edition Makita. Yes, sir. Oh, I love that the black. It's not a good color. Nice color. Well, oh, I like the other color too, the teal. Black and teal. Or, or yeah. I like the Milwaukee ones too. Yeah. Ooh. It's that crusty, rusty, and busted. And also the little Makita box that has all the bits in it.
Yeah, so got one more ball to go. And uh, hopefully this thing comes out pretty simple. Some sealing and uh, clean it up and make sure that uh, I get all the dirt out, get all the crust out, you know. Then I can start putting up the new one. Should go really simple. I'm very optimistic about it. All right. Two o'clock, come on. I got it out. We have to put down the awning before we take it down. Yeah, the awning's on the other side. We can leave it up there until tomorrow. It doesn't really have to come down right now. Well, it's up to you. What do you want to do? Just keep taking this down. Okay. Let's just get this all out. Yeah, let's see how we do, and then, depending on the order, fucking, uh, yeah. Or we just save it tomorrow. When you want to, just Sam, when you want to start back on this, maybe like 9 o'clock tomorrow? Yep. Yeah. yeah, I shouldn't be uh, up as late as normal. I don't, I don't have anybody to talk to yet. Well, that's good. Yeah, but sometimes in the middle of the night, motherfuckers be calling me like... Oh, uh, uh, don't you hate that? Last night it came over at midnight. They come over every week at midnight. Oh. So that means I'm up to like 6 in the morning. Oh well, yeah, you don't get no sleep, then you get like an hour and a half at the most. Yeah, because I got a deal going on for anybody that want a tattoo all night or all day. <laughs> it's a uh, tap out session, 500. Holla at you, boy. Say that trend there, you can't cut the trend. Yeah. Uh, if you want, grab the other end, and you can start taking the other leg. 
set up the big scaffold. Or would you? Haven't you gotten a step stool? Uh, what? Actually, I'll start taking out the garbage. in the roof. Getting new light fixtures or using the same old? I, know, I would get new ones. I would too, but I gotta find an 8 foot one for him. Because, uh, I mean, that's cheap. Oh, uh, he, what? He wants to go all the way well, down? He already has LEDs. And those bulbs are 40. I mean, I know I can get them for 45 bucks. bought one of them. Well, yeah. 45 a piece. And I know, LEDs are expensive. The, the guy who I just got him from, he has a different outlet that would be better than these. Probably. You know, it's just the light bulb and it attaches to it and then it has like a direct wire so it's not some big ugly thing. Mm. It's very simplistic. It's like just the light and it's very like it's flexible. It's not like glass or nothing. 
it's a really nice light. So it seems what you're saying is more ideal. Yeah, maybe I should just I'm just trying to do it as cheap as possible because this guy hasn't uh hasn't really had much business lately because of COVID. Well yeah, of course. So he's not he 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 still he has to go a little more than what you're doing, but um he just try to be fixer upper for now. Should be using a metal blade, and I got one sitting right here. We'll be back. 